Last time with Fluid Vibe, we set sail from Fort Lauderdale down to Miami Marine Stadium with a gorgeous view of downtown. We learned the basics, got some sleep, and woke to a beautiful second day on the water. Began the day with a great breakfast from Captain, then had an hour classroom followed by our first test. We finished sailing 101 and hung out with the Miami Dolphins. Then we jumped into engine explanation and got a quick half hour on all processes, components, and engine part locations. All tubes, and that's how the fuel is delivered into the cylinder through a fuel injector. Um, but let's go the other way. Here on this wall is my Raycor or my primary fuel filter and that has a glass bulb. Is it mm -hmm. the strainer? And uh, the glass bulb is the water separator and then the filter is kind of a strainer. What's in the glass bulb? Fuel. Oh, okay and hopefully fuel, although I may have some water in there I'm going to drain out. Following the steam session in the engine compartments, a few of the team jumped in to assess the health of the props to check that concern off the list from the day before. Just your average boat checks. Um, check both engines. Everything looks to be okay. We're a little over full on the port side engine on the oil. That might have been what was causing us problems yesterday in our larger than average seas. Um, we're just kind of process of eliminating any and every opportunity to cause us problems today. We organized and prepared the boat to pull up anchor to get back to business, learning how to sail. With Irene at the helm, we made our way over to the Biscayne Bay to begin fine-tuning all of the things we learned the previous day. So after a long hard day today of uh, taking some tests and looking at the engine and having some breakfast and some lunch and doing some education in the morning, we are now on to sailing training. We're going to do some tacking and some jiving and some heaving too and basically learning all of the, uh, just working on repetition, trying to get ready for just knowing what all the uh, lines do. Main sheets and a traveler, and just how to get everything kind of working. It's a few silly questions on knots today on the test, but um, the test was pretty, pretty easy after you've done some studying. And of course, having a great teacher is always important. So uh, thanks, Keith, for that. Um, and yeah, so we are in Miami, as you can see, right here behind me. And we are heading over to Biscayne Bay to. to see how the afternoon goes. It's a beautiful day, hot and sunny. As you can see, I'm wearing my rash guard and her t-shirt because I haven't lost nearly as much weight as I need to. And uh, yeah, we're about to go into this big ass bridge back here behind me. Right back there. So.
So catamarans are notoriously hard to tack, so here I'm waiting till the jib fills with wind to bring the nose around to starboard. Once the turn is made, I release fully to the jib sheet and the team tightens it up on starboard side. Currently we are in a hove to position with the jib in front of the main with the rudder pointed into the wind to learn about reefing. When should you reef? When you first think about it. Reefing is when you decrease the sail area to accommodate for higher wind speeds in order to stay safe. Tight. No, keep going. He's sl- Maybe another foot. Keep going. It needs to be super tight. A little bit more. Good. Yep. Yes, sir. Got, got the clip. All right, now I'm going to pull it tight. Okay, go again. Yeah, I'd say maybe two Push more. Push close. Got to go more. Sorry, man. Sorry. It's still got a little flex in it. You know how tight he likes it to be. That's feeling good, buddy. Feeling good. Yeah, I How's think you're, I think you're good. I think okay. you're good. Looking tight, looking great. Yeah, we already did. Anyone who thinks sailing is easy must have electric winches. As you can see, I'm grinding to tighten up the jib for this port tack. Definitely keeps you moving the entire time. Finishing with tightening the jib sheet, I moved over to adjust the traveler for the boom. It is a constant workflow of fine tuning the boat's equipment for optimal sailing. The team had been pushing hard for hours, getting better every tack. Guess I should have brought some gloves. No pain, no gain. Almost over and everyone having a turn at helm, we cruised our way to the anchorage for the night.
harbor at the south side of Key Biscayne, we did a drive-by on one of our captain's former students that were anchored nearby. Bill Baggs, Cape Florida State Park, No Name Harbor Boaters Access. Thank you, Florida. All right, doing some ice purchasing. Hope this isn't like focus, probably not, but whatever. <laughs> Three bags of ice, $7.29. So, gotta have something to keep the beer cold. All right, so like I said, Bill Baggs, Cape Florida State Park. The place was called the Boats Restaurant, I think. It smelled awesome. Nothing like fried calamari, conch fritters, oysters, different seafoods. Here you got a little seawall, nice anchorage, no Dame harbor. There it is. Oh look, we got company already. It's awesome. We come bearing ice to make our beer taste better. Are you, you, you frostbitten yet? A little bit, a little bit. Alright, so anchoring. First time anchoring. Got the crew out front. Loads of help. Got some new friends on board just for the evening to have some beverages.
It'll be next time when we do donuts in the parking lot. We learn how to do 180s, 360s, and turn on a dime. We learn how to jive, we hit all points of sail, we save a buoy with the man overboard drills, and we grab a mooring in Coconut Grove before getting a cool down with a nice cold front. We'll see you then. Thanks for joining us.